Hello everyone, I found this recipe in this magazine at Jello and Cool Up Summer Desserts. I found it in the checkout line of the grocery store last week. You'll recognize the cover photo. Those are the watermelon pops I made last year on my channel and that's in my watermelon food playlist. Today's recipe is peanut butter cup pie. Super easy and very, very good. And while I'm here, I'm gonna show you a sneak preview on one of the upcoming recipes. I'm gonna make these too. These are cookies and cream pudding pops. Now to make the peanut butter cup pie, you will need eight ounces of cream cheese. See if you can find happy cream cheese because happy cream cheese makes the best recipes. Let the cream cheese come to room temperature and then place it into a medium sized bowl. Add to that one half cup of peanut butter. You can use smooth peanut butter like I'm using here, or you can use crunchy peanut butter. That's up to you. Blend those two things together until it is well combined. And then you're gonna add one package, 3.4 ounces, four serving size, vanilla flavor instant pudding mix. Doesn't have to be Jell-O brand, can be any brand, as long as it's that size of package. Then add one cup of cold milk and beat that together with an electric mixer or by hand until it's nice and smooth and well combined. Now you're going to stir in one cup of Cool Whip. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with Cool Whip, it is a whipped topping that is oil-based. It's not dairy-based. However, you could use regular whipped cream for this. It would work just as well. Stir in that one cup of Cool Whip, and once it's combined, you're going to spoon it into your prepared crust. This is the, a store-bought crust. It's a shortbread crust. You could use a chocolate cookie crust, a graham crust, or a chocolate graham crust, whatever you have available, or just a regular pastry crust. Once it's spooned in, you just smooth it out as much as you can and put that in the refrigerator while you prepare the rest of the recipe. That is one and a half cups of Cool Whip in that measuring cup. To this, I'm going to add one half cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I put that in the microwave for about one minute on high and then I stirred it until the chocolate chips were completely melted and the mixture will start to thicken a little bit. Let that cool so that it, when you touch it, it is no longer warm to the touch. Then you can pour it on top of the pie and then spread it out to the edges. Now as a garnish, this part is optional. You can melt a little bit of peanut butter in the microwave and then drizzle it over the top. So what I did is I took a Ziploc bag, I put the peanut butter in the Ziploc bag, I heated it just slightly until the peanut butter was soft and sort of liquid. Cut the hole in the corner of the bag and just drizzle, drizzle it over the pie. Put that in the refrigerator for several hours and then it's ready to serve. It is a nice light dessert. It's not super sweet. Um, the peanut butter flavor comes through quite nicely. The only thing I didn't like about it was it was hard to slice and to get these nice clean cuts for a photo was very difficult because it's very hard to get out of the pie plate without it folding or breaking into pieces. Otherwise delicious, give it a try.